Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Say What's Podcast. This is season two. Are we seasoning it now? This is season two of the UK's number one feel good podcast. We had to tick a category and I ticked comedy, so hopefully people laugh. Com- okay. Comedy, right. what else could you put? Lifestyle? Comedy for me. <laughs> yeah, comedy <laughs> for you. If feel good was there, I'd put feel good. That's how I would I describe like the podcast. Yeah. You can say anything, can't you? The UK's number one. The number what? one. Who's going to come and say... I think we're the number one shit talkers. Who's going to say otherwise? So anyway, we it is actually a Tuesday at quarter past nine in the evening. Yeah, I'm away for the next and two days and we were desperate to get a podcast. Like we'd made it our mission that we were going to have a podcast this week and we just feel like... We're not going to do it if not. If not, yeah. It's stories of sleep. We've done a few of the YouTubes. Like we've smashed those out in LA. I think it was quite easy in LA because... We've got stuff that we wanted you, to show. You had such a great list in I LA know, of yeah. like, today we're it's doing this. Do. I was like, well, that's easy to film. But you know what, Jack? If you were... I feel like in you it, on holiday, you just kind of follow my lead. But here I could do... I would do an itinerary. Do you know what? And a list, but you'd be like, "Oh, can't! No. I've got to do work. Oh, I've got to! I've got to have this call with Brian. I've got to do! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do this! I've got to do that!" And I'm, you know what I mean? Like I, getting you out, the, yeah. getting you out the house to go to TK Maxx today felt like a novelty. Yeah, I just feel like if you treated the UK life like America, and you're like. It was it was so good because story was I would, was but I'd have sleep. no one to go with because you'll be on the it phone to just, Brian or something. It was like everything we've wanted to have done, like get up really early and I mean sometimes exciting. it was 2 a.m because 2 a.m 4 a.m because story was going to sleep earlier maybe four hours earlier than she would here and she was getting up earlier at like four we were knackered as the time difference but how exciting was it like we'd wake up at 4 a.m I am that girl was, on holiday I'm up for the sunrise yeah and you just have this Always. energy of oh I, I may as well get I can get up the, where is that in England uh, no, I can't get I, I always say to people, you know, those really wonderful like 5 a.m. books and like, you know, Oprah Winfrey and all of these people, they all have this like 5 a.m. routine. I ain't doing it over. Yeah, it's like if you win the morning, you win the week or the yeah, day. Yeah, I'd or... rather not win. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come second or third. <laughs> um, but yeah, I honestly, if you said to me, travel agent A, hey, Yeah, I think, me, why don't we hang do on, like, on, book me, yeah, yeah, book yeah, me a trip yeah. to the UK. Let me know what's going down. One, we'd go to every St- Starbucks franchise across the UK. Yeah. Which we will talk about your new Tay Brew that is taking the GG by, by Storm. Storm. <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy. Bosh. <laughs> Stop it. We're like a proper radio. Why is my voice changing? <laughs> so um, I think this is a good... Oh, I'm a shouting. Like, calm down. Sorry, we're a bit rusty. <laughs> no, do you know what it is? Well, I maybe you're taking after me. I I don't know if anyone, anyone can relate to this, but my sister's the same. Actually, my friend was saying she's the same. At about like 10 p.m., I go loopy. Like I go yeah. really hyper and delirious, which is before I'm going to bed, Jack. So I was like, can you calm down? Yeah. <laughs> I'm knackered at that point and you're ramping up. I'm like, <laughs> ramp down. Fucking ramp stop. down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything you find funny at that time i usually don't because yeah. i'm like tired and you're like come on why are you not laughing i'm like honestly this is fucking shit please stop <laughs> so yeah i reckon this is a really good idea right well let's do this so let's overbook a week let's have a u- a week in the uk holiday and you Ooh. book all of these things not like hotel i feel like where we get up and drive somewhere not yeah. where it's like hotel hotel no that doesn't make sense and then that we will do that and then vlog it because we ended up getting five vlogs in LA. Really, really enjoyed it. Can I just say, I have to give you a really big shout out for doing mm. that because... <laughs> oh, sorry. Please stop the song back. Cheers, guys. I honestly did not believe in you that you were going to do them. When you said when we were packing on one of our YouTube vlogs, if, if you watch us on YouTube, you would have heard this. Jack's like, yeah, I'm going to vlog every day, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, but you won't know, babe. You literally say all the time, I'm going to start being so active on Instagram. I've had such good yeah. stories today. I've been talking about biscuits and everyone's <laughs> loved it. And, I, and then like literally he just goes off the radar for like two months and then comes back. So I was like, yeah, all right. I don't believe you. And he literally caned it. 
like I was going to bed, story was going to bed, and Jack was staying up for an extra at least like two or three hours to edit the vlog. Editing get it the up. vlogs. In the morning, I'd wake up and it'd be uploaded. I was like, I wanted wow. to do them real time. And I'm going to continue to do that, like with the yeah. podcasts, with everything. I feel like it's so much better that if you see, not on my stories because I don't really post any, but if you see stories on Tay, let's say she goes here, the stories, it'd be great if the YouTube's uploaded that night. Mm. So it's related and they don't have to be as long, like hour but long. But you also really enjoy doing it, I don't you? I absolutely love it. Like if I look at the footage, I'm like, oh, this is brilliant. I edit it. I'm learning to edit. And then what I love the most is... I, they're there forever. Mm. So we can look back now and I envisage that story with our children and their children will look back and they're like, ah, oh, look at these. Yeah. This is granddad and great grand, whatever they call you, grandma, grand, granny. Granzetti. Granzetti. <laughs> <laughs> and they're there forever. So even if, Joe, sometimes you have them on your phone, you lose them. You know, I've had like 10 phones and I've lost stuff with phones. So I just feel like yeah, we can always refer back to it. So yeah. it's so much better. A story, I put a story on my stories, obviously, and then <laughs> they're gone. And I'm like, oh, fucking hell. It was a lot of effort for like, they've Yeah, gone. but it's not a lot of effort. I'm fucked. It's that's, not uh, that's, that's my mindset, you yeah. know. So we're going to keep them up. We're going to do them. And um, I've yeah. set a target we to do. We uploaded the vlog about two days ago. And our next one will upload after I've been on my, I'm going to Manchester tomorrow. We'll do a, like a, a weekend vlog and then upload it probably yeah, for we'll Sunday probably night. Upload, well, no, I'm going to aim for two. So let's, book, we're going to upload a Friday and then. Um, well, I won't be back till Friday. So I don't know whether we'll have anything we'll to Saturday upload. and then we'll upload Sunday. Anyway, we're, yeah. we're selling our future content. Let's talk about something. Not about, okay. Not about how great we are at doing <laughs> vlogs. So yeah, I've got a target of 100 vlogs to do in 12 months you time. You just said you weren't going to talk about it. Yeah, so <laughs> give me some fucking credit. <laughs> right, Honestly, anyway, no, what else? No more. No more. No, no we're more wasting time. I want no to keep this, effect. you know, choppy. Punchy. So basically we've had a summer in, in Spain and then we had a trip to LA we we'll just round that up with the fact that it was really good. I'd say the weather was, <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> That's really brief. No, it, we, we absolutely loved it. It was but great. One of the topics that we say we found difficult was it just got like hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. Yeah. With it's, a newborn. But you know what? The heat with the baby and not having any family or friends to lean on, which we have the great pleasure of being able to do when we're in the UK. It was quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we're not capable of looking after a yeah. child together on our own. And I don't like the sun. <laughs> no, it was absolutely unbelievable. But it, what happened is we were in absolute, everything was so new. It, what was amazing that everything that we had dreamed of in Spain with a baby, we were doing it all. Like, this is mm. unbelievable. Then, But what happened is towards the end, it was just getting so hot that we, if you didn't get out for like, between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. You couldn't then go out of story till 8 p.m. And we were just constantly was, having anxiety. Like, is she too hot? Oh, she's sweating. Have she's you sweating. charged the fans? We've got yeah. like three charges, two fans. Like, you can't even it's... imagine all the, well, you can if you're a parent, but all of the little things that you have to think of, like, oh, the sun's on her a bit. Oh, the sun visor isn't covering her. Oh, we haven't charged the fans. Like, oh, we need another fan. Oh, I had to get in the car and ran out. Ch um, put the air con on for 10 minutes before she'd get in. Then and I'd she's come not allowed to wear and, sun cream. So, like... She can't it, be in the sun at all. And it's just like, it was kind of unavoidable yeah. at times. And then you're like panicking, like, oh my God, like, is she all right? And then like, just sometimes she'd get in the car and because the car was hot, she'd be like quite tired or drowsy. And you'd be like, is that because the heat? And you're just <laughs> constantly like having anxiety. I was like, do you know yeah. what? I actually can't wait to be in the UK and for it to be cold. And like to be, uh, not have to worry that she's like going to burn or she's overheating yeah. or she's got a sunstroke. And then we come like back that. to the UK and there's a bit of heat wave. Yeah, like, we're yeah like, the summer started. We're like, Please, we're like, no. honestly, just want it to be cold. Yeah. So no, we absolutely enjoyed, like I said, probably the first eight weeks. That's just how we felt towards the last two weeks. And, yeah. and that's what we were like, oh, describing of. So it was unbelievable. Then we had LA. If you haven't um, seen that, check out the vlogs. We, there's a few different like hiccups and stuff like that. Yeah, we won't of, repeat the content because we know that a lot of the GG like do them all watch. and we want to keep them yeah, separate. So check those but we out. have like vl um, vlogged our trip to LA, as we just said. And yeah, all of those Is little it, things yeah. about us flying and 
Yeah, wow. so a couple of points that I want to get onto. The the big one I want to discuss is obviously... Discuss. Discuss <laughs> is the Tay Brew. But just before that, shall we have a quit, 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 Are you quittle, okay? Are you okay, bro? Quick little new word, quittle, about update with story. How, yeah. You know, she's five months... How has it been? I would say, well, no, no, you go. I always say, ask you the question, then go, I would say. <laughs> I do you know what? This is another point I'll have to, to say is we've been watching back a couple of the YouTubes oh, just, to, just to be self-critical of like, you know, how can we improve them? Are they any good? And what we've done, our style is literally just upload anything that we feel comfortable and easy to upload. And we uploaded something that was, you know, just real life Friday after n- night of us uh, putting a rug down and moving it around. And we're so and annoying. Jesus Christ. We were both like, you move the rug a little bit and we're like, I think that. I, I feel f- like. No, I, I feel like. like I, I feel think like. That <laughs> for literally like the 30 minutes. And you know what? If you've not watched like, the vlog already and now you watch it, you'll be like, oh my God, shut up. Yeah. We were so annoying. And we're the- like, and now every time we speak to each other, we go, I, f- I feel that. like and we realised that we were like, oh, that was a We've terrible no twenty minutes of like weird. Yeah, our, our vocabulary is extremely Dire. limited, and now all we can talk like is that we're just there's nothing other than I feel like like our conversations. <laughs> we're like, what's that like? The two people, not dumb, yeah, dumb and dumb. Yeah, yeah. Or, we're like we're just. We've morphed into the same weird person <laughs> that can't speak anything other than I like, feel like a level five. This, yeah. I can't even say the words because I haven't got anything in my head, <laughs> vocabulary. Dumb, so dumber. anyway, yeah, back to story. And so, yeah, she's five months. And and how has it been since the last one? Why do you always go into this place where you're like, we're, we're a podcast and then you start interviewing me? <laughs> well, yeah, that's because you are the the, the absolute queen no, of the show. you're the star of the show. You're the star. No, you're, you're, the, ba- no, you're, you're the better half. You're the star 100%. of the show. And I have to just take up my assistant manager No, you are Mr. Manager Lovable. Role, no. And what I have to do is just ask you the questions. Right, and well, I, uh, pipe, pipe up. what I'll say is, I would say, <laughs> what I think I is, think I that. feel like, no, I would say that we are enjoying story more and more as she grows up. It's something we've both said. I think we've said it actually before in our podcast that um, from like, I, I think from week eight, week 10, it like ch- started to change and then it just changes more and more. But what I would say in the last four to six weeks is like you're really getting to see her personality like, now and like you know before when they're like a proper newborn baby obviously you give 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 and you don't get anything back because they're a newborn baby like they've just been born um but now you're starting to like you get the smiles which obviously you get early on but now we get like the giggles like i feel like she's really recognizing both of us but although she's yeah, very she's happy to go to anybody she's so smiling so happy she's not yeah. like she's not like um fussy is she no there's elements of when i'm like speaking to her or just playing with her that there's elements of it as if she's like 12 and yeah. she's being a brat and she her personality comes out and then she looks at you and then you're like don't you do it and then she'll do it and you're like yeah just fucking hell she's grown when that's not actually it but it's, it's just it, you're getting something back something. and you're making up in your head what yeah. it is and i'm like yeah it's like a bit of cheekiness it's, yeah and and she's yeah and she's also can... she very quick like in spain um we noticed well i noticed i was lying on the floor with her and she was putting a toy in her mouth like a teething toy and I seen two teeth and I literally screamed, didn't I? I was <laughs> yeah. like, Jack, come here now. I think Story's got two teeth. And she had two teeth and they were just literally poking up. And I was like, they must have been cutting through for a, like a while. And now she's pretty much got two fully grown, well, they're not fully grown, but they're not far off. Two no, teeth at the bottom. When before you don't three know months. anything about. I, I don't know anything about any. I would assume that the teeth come out a little bit like not far where these have just come out on their own for months i didn't realize it's just two teeth come out on their own for months and months and months and that's just how it but is also it's where's three, the rest uh, uh, but also like before three months this was and now i expected people yeah, to but, have, and like when do the others catch up want. like they yeah i thought they would be like a bit of a stub and then you might get a stub here and there but they're just like two teeth that have gone full and then yeah 
I, I don't because you don't know any of this any of it is exciting yeah and you can kind of see now like there's elements when i see her when she's like we hold her up that i can see how she's going to look like when she's two yeah, or that's... three or four yeah whereas before you're like it's just a baby and i can't actually ever imagine them turn into a human like your your daughter like a kid or an adult mm. whereas now you're like i could see how she could look yeah which is really exciting i prefer it more and more and more i, and do. I, I don't want to wish the time away but when she can talk to me and st- I'm, I'm ready for that. And I know if people are like, yeah, the, the newborn is the best. I'm like, yeah, it is amazing. But the more that she's doing, the more I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah. Like, I, t- it's, it's so times excited now. Exciting. I mean, obviously there's still some days where you're like, oh my God, and you're just overstimulated, like really overstimulated. But I would say th- the newborn stage for me was be like for both of us was beyond hard. We've just been thrust into this new life, and you're like, "What on earth?" And now it's like, I feel like it's a lot easier. Don't yeah, you? you obviously, I, yeah, like I say, you do have those days, but just in general, like it's so much easier. Yeah. So if there's any people, if there's any women or parents watching this, and you've got a newborn baby, honestly, I would say from like, especially like three and a half months. It seems to get a well, lot easier. I guess easier. everyone's different because this is where pe- we had to sort of pick up on the point where people were feeding us that like, oh, as soon as they're out, you feel love, never like it. Yeah, that's true, like that's it. true. It and just then you feel bad when then. you didn't feel that. And then Tay had a bit of a crazy birth. So then that didn't come for me for like six weeks and I was panicking and I was like, uh, yeah, I love her, but not as much as everyone said. So yeah, so definitely everyone, just from our experience, that's yeah. what's happened for us. But I would say just that, uh, yeah, it's just getting... Yeah, way more like excited than you could ever imagine. Yeah, and, and she's then... like starting to go. We were actually getting a sleep coach. I don't know that we're still going to do that now. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we probably I feel, should. Yes, I do. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Although you know, every day. we're going to get a sleep coach because honestly, her sleep was a nightmare. But it seems like since she came back from LA, other than the first few days where she was like up in the middle of the night, like we were. It seems like she's going down to sleep really yeah. nicely. It's as minute. if she heard that we were going to have that call and she yeah. picked her ideas up. Yeah. No, what I would say is this is this is this is the truth. Right. Well, <laughs> it was is. everything else a lie. No. <laughs> 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 is whenever there's a f- like something that's going on because already let's say she's five months. That's what twenty weeks. There's been loads of different things that have happened. It's never really that long. It's like a week or two weeks. And then there's another phase. So really it's like... But this is what parents say, isn't it? Like you get over one obstacle and then there's the next one. Yeah. So it'll be like, we're having a really nice time now. And then next week, another tooth will be coming. Yeah. But I don't feel... When you get that into your head, it's it's just temporary. Like So when you're like, oh, when she had the first teeth and we're like, oh shit, the teeth coming through and she was crying and wouldn't sleep. It was a nightmare. Mm. we felt like oh my god you know you you could probably describe having a baby as the hardest thing ever but then a week later that's gone and she's asleep yeah and then you're like oh it's easy and then a week later there's something else mm. it's just it's very short whatever's difficult and it's very short if it's because easy. they develop so quickly like yeah that's and, what I mean. and as they're obviously they grow so quickly that there's so many changes that you don't even like today um now we've got which we didn't think about before but we had in spain to be fair um like uh play mats on the floor because she's just on she doesn't want to sit in a chair anymore she doesn't want to sit in a chair and watch elmo or she doesn't want to be entertained in a chair like she wants to be out like she's like this isn't she she's in a chair and she's like like literally trying to do a sit up and get out of her chair and yeah. she like, wants to be on the floor and you should see her trying to crawl like she's done like three or four like good movements now where it's like almost like a fluid crawl and um we had a friend round earlier and she said from what i know and she's got four kids she is going to be crawling in the next like week or so yeah because she is so close she could she was rolling it's just weird because she had like the dancing fruits you know time then it went to like elmo, elmo. and then sesame street and then then it goes to she doesn't care she, yeah and now i no. want to crawl yeah. i want to be out yeah and that's just weird it is that's like how you would buy barbie for a four-year-old and then the next month they want something else yeah you're getting that like in a baby yeah it's just, just it's just incredibly developed that is it is it's and it's just amazing blowing. like just like in the morning waking up and like seeing her like that's my favorite Exactly. Part. like i'm yeah. like I'll, when i see her little face in the morning she like kind of screws up and she's like yeah Hi. 
which is so exciting. Yeah. So, so I would say we're loving it more and more, aren't we? It's the best thing ever, absolutely ever. I think the more it's the, the more best you get and the to hardest know, thing I to would know say. them, it then makes you think. I don't know how. Like you didn't. It's just weird. And so. also the audacity to think that we were busy before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, That's a very, very good point. You feel like what were we doing? That we were just the the laziest people on earth with all of the time in the world. I had no excuse. Anything I didn't... Bring it back! Anything I didn't do when I didn't have a baby, it was a joke. Like, I was like, oh, I didn't have time for the gym or... It's, that's bullshit. Yeah. That's utter shit. Yeah. So, I feel like now you have a baby, you make time for the things that you really want to do now. The you know what? <laughs> I think that, no, that's a great point, is now... When, I, that's a good point that gives me the motivation to do the gym or to do something because i'm like uh, if i don't i've got no time yeah so in a weird way it kind of propelled me further mm. and doing more with I, less what, time what i feel like it makes you do is it makes you good. procrastinate less yeah exactly that that's because there's only small windows of time that you actually get to do things like when she goes to sleep you know you, you sometimes you think oh i just want to go to sleep but then you're like no i've got this Potentially an hour, potentially 30 minutes or potentially yeah. three hours now where I've got things to do and you just do them. That is so true. And that must be, well, I've experienced that because with my work, I was trying to free up my work so that that was all ultimately my goal mm. for when I had a baby. And I assumed because I was putting in like a ridiculous amount of hours that, oh my God, I'm going to be able to do this. I'll play the piano, I'll play the guitar, I'll do all of this. And then when I had all of the time, I did procrastinate more. And I, I thought, what is that? And mm. now I've got a story. I'm not procrastinating because in any way. Because now you've got purpose because you're like, if I, it's now or never. Whereas yeah. before you had all the time where it was like, could do it tomorrow. Could do yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. So it's a very weird thing. But yeah, we're absolutely loving it. And um, let's, so let's move on to another, is there any other topics that we can catch up on? Hmm. Should we talk about the Tay Brew? <laughs> the Tay Brew. So I've got a couple of questions because I'm in the GG, but I'm not a Tay Brew trier. Oh, I, here's a good thing that I would like to come up, we'll get on to. My understanding is what happened to the last year's drink? Why don't you all just have... The last, toffee nut. Whatever it was last year that you oh, all Oh, we would rate. love the toffee nut cream cold brew to come back, but it's not on the menu. But I've been deliberating over this and I don't know whether this was like an autumn drink or whether it was a Christmas drink. So I think there's two menus. So I don't know whether, I don't know whether I'm making that up. Is there a winter menu for Starbucks and this is the winter menu? This is everything that we get for Christmas. No, it can't be. So the toffee I've, nut cold. Oh, I think it was shit. a Christmas drink. So if we get the toffee nut cream cold brew back this year again, it's going to be so much more simple. Because what, but wait, I'm, what I'm trying to create ones? right now with the Tay Brew is I'm trying to recreate the Toffee Nut Cream Cold Brew that we had last year, which we went bonkers. So the over. Toffee Nut Cream Cold Brew right. from last year, let's talk about last yep. year's edition. That was modified, wasn't it? Yeah. But all it to was you. is uh, you got to add the pouring cream. Oh, I hate that. I remember that. Yeah. you gotta ah. add, you got to add the pouring cream. And sometimes they oh, were yeah. a bit stingy with Sippy the, the topping that you had. And the topping was, um, it was like a caramel kind of toffee nut kind of thing. And it was absolutely gorgeous. And obviously you had to make sure, this was when we were first getting started. Now the flat lid's like, that's a given. But what, at the, the time, sippy, this the was all cup. like... Is it, time, is it called a flat lid now? It's called, No, it is a flat lid, but we call it a sippy cup. What, just me and you? No, like <laughs> me and the Gigi. So... Because we didn't know that it was called a flat yeah. lid. And then people are like, you mean a flat lid? I'm like, well, it is a sippy cup, but yeah. So yeah, basically, yeah. ever since that came off the menu, we've been trying to recreate it in our own right. way. The problem is, is that in America, they have all of these amazing drinks. They have all of these different cold foams, there's toppings. I mean, you can customize your drink in 1,000 trillion ways, like on the app. And it's it's like, you have all of that in front of you. On our okay, app, that's in what the we UK, were doing. you don't have those customizations they're not used to making like cold foam like sometimes if you say to somebody at Starbucks oh can I have cold foam they're like cold foam we don't do that when they act they actually do because it's just basically milk and syrup frothed up and then put on the top like you do <laughs> you do do it <laughs> and, if you, and, if, oh my and God. if you don't know how to do it I can get there I can get behind there and I can do it for you because I honestly that would be oh my god well do you know what I had a crazy idea earlier 
so tired. Um, Let what? me know. Uh, no, let me say mine first. I thought no, it's our just... anniversary next month, October right. the 19th. I want you to try and find a Starbucks branch that for, I'm not asking for a day, but this is what I would like to do for my anniversary. Oh, like just, Cadbury's Egg World. Just for a, like, we'll and... obviously do something for you as well, whatever you want to do. But just for a few hours on that day, I would like you to try and find a Starbucks branch that wouldn't mind me going behind the counter and, uh, make, and making yeah. my own cold brew. What we'll do is... That's we'll, like we'll... my, like, honestly, you know, like when you were younger and you used to, like, have a fake till, like, and play shops with your friends or your family. Like, I that was amazing. This. And there was this one time where my dad used to have a shop and he bought the actual till home. I've never felt euphoria like it. Like playing with this real till and like printing out real receipts and stuff. Like I just, and it gives me that same vibe. Like the thought of me, maybe I can have the apron on behind the till and actually pouring my own or doing all the ratio. I mean, I could get, I could make the world's best cold Why brew. don't you work at one of the local ones? I honestly think and it would, imagine... I think it would be easier because one, my only enjoyment of my whole day other than obviously <laughs> my, my family and the people I love and is going to Starbucks. It's the highlight of my every day. And, or you just, or you just, yeah, they could have like videos instead, like training videos. Or we just go of... and literally spray paint it on every single menu of starbucks of, the table yeah i feel I've cricked my neck it's really a shame bad. That... i'm sorry but i'm you have to talk to me <laughs> you have to talk to my left ear now because my muscles aren't cooperating at this time right let's just let's <laughs> chat for the next minute by not actually looking at each other i'm sorry like, can down. i just have a bit of a oh, oh this is 29 uh, guys um oh, yeah. so a couple of points back on the table yeah so you've created this new Tay Brew. I, look, I've not created <laughs> it, but I, I've customized it in a way that's very normal in, in America. In America, you should have seen my cold brews. Like I had everything that you could possibly imagine. Over here, people are like, think I'm abominable. <laughs> They're like, what? This is some kind of, like, it's like I'm not speaking. Some, like my life coach said to me, can they even understand what you're saying at the checkout? I'm like, of course they don't. I'm speaking in Starbucks language, hun. Like, he's like, well, I've never had... It's like, like someone put... You're literally talking in Morse code. Like, no, I know my Starbucks lingo, like, like the back so, of my hand. So, well, in the American one, when you were going on the app at, like, 4 a.m., because we, we were up early, mm -hmm. ready for 6 a.m. Babe, I, could can just I just say, I downloaded, the, I downloaded the app and put our location of our hotel in whilst we were still in the UK, and I... um was playing with the recipes before we even got into America because I wanted to so know what I was having. So they just literally let you make your own thing then? Yeah. This, uh, this like you so can choose better. what cream, what syrup. There's a million different syrups. You can have your cold foam in all different flavors. You can choose your coffee beans. Like it's literally wild. Like give me Starbucks, give me rain of the Starbucks over the UK. I will cha change the menu and their sales will go through the roof. Yeah, but you say that, but... Have you the response from when you're asking for your drink from is very much like, but it's because people don't know they, how they're to like, make What them. it should just be like, you know, the biggest push that they've ever had is like a caramel or a vanilla in the UK, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. In America, how they're like, Oh, when that? I milk a chocolate, shaka, whatever yeah. it is, and it's very normal. normal over here, it's not, but that's what I'm saying. If you just give me the menu, I'll make the recipe cards, and then everybody will just know how to make them, have it right in front of them, and off we go. Starbucks, if you're watching, which is highly likely, listen to the woman. I need. We need a tape. <laughs> we need a tape brew on the menu because one, not everybody's getting it consistently because you know not everybody knows how to make it exactly how I'd make it. But two, it's just going to be save so much anxiety at the till where you're like, right, could I please have a that me brings me on to my next point: a medium cold brew, one pump of caramel syrup, one pump of vanilla syrup. Could I have um, a splash of pouring cream, please? Can I also get some vanilla sweet cream? sweet cold sweet cream cold foam on the top and also could you add the topping that's on the salted caramel and maple syrup cold brew but onto that one which is the caramel crunch please oh and also can you make sure it's in a sippy cup i mean i know it but a lot of people don't no, and a lot of people wouldn't and this say is that. what i've seen from your instagram is I would say it's probably 50-50. Yeah. Probably there's there's like 50% of people that are sent videos of them literally no. ordering it. Yeah. 
and the other fifty percent are in the category that I would class myself as. Well, they want to try it, but they won't. Don't I'm dare like, try it. I want it. it, but I can't. I can't ask for that. Yeah, I just and can't. I get it. I get it. It's a lot. But do you I know what? I just feel too bad I get on too, the person. I get too much. Yeah, but I'm in a, I'm fact, a massive empath like you. It's not that. It's, it's more of I like... I think I'm embarrassed in my own head. Yeah. It's but me. Do you know what it's it, a when, me, not the... It's a, it's a you it's thing. It's a me thing. But do you know what? When you value... Sorry, Furball. When you value coffee as much as I do and it's your like biggest highlight of the day, gets you through the day... I've got to a point now where I'm like, do you know what? I know how I want my coffee. I'm 29 years <laughs> of age, Charlie. I'm going to get my coffee exactly how I want it. But you and still don't because do you know what? Today I ordered three, well, you've probably seen the reel that I uploaded. I ordered uh, three new drinks to try, two new cold brew customizations that I found on Pinterest and then a hot one. Um, only one of them actually was nice. Cinnamon syrup, Blech so bad but basically i'd done all these customizations like they were like blah, 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 and then they all came in a what, dome good. they all came in a dome lid cup which is the cup with a straw you can't drink cold brew did you through. ask to change no i, I can't this, i just can't possibly do you know what See, i mean I, lo I lost my ball sack <laughs> <laughs> that's that tell you what that reminds that brings me back to 2000 what was it 22 the winter where Every time Tay was, was asking me to make was my craving. the cold brew and there was, hi, oh, you were like probably like three centimetres, what? Two like, inches just, of just... pouring cream and then you'd get it and then I'd pass it in the back or wherever and you were like, nah, nah, needs less. <laughs> I could tell. Needs less. And I... I'd be like, oh, not less. And then. But anything but less. She where can we, add, but she can't where take we're it from away. in Leicester, there's two Starbucks. There's one on the way, one on the way back. And often, because I was pregnant, you know, if my coffee wasn't right, oh, my day didn't go well. Then I'd be like, right, let's go see the one on the way back, see what we can do. And do you know what? There was actually a point where I actually took my emporium cream, didn't I, in the car? Yeah, where was that from? I took my emporium, I just bought it from the shop. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a good, that's a good answer. Because I just thought, you know what? I just can't risk this anymore. No, it weren't worth it for me. It was not, I didn't, this so you're is, supposed but to this enjoy is just, the Honestly, journey. this is just why, like, I <laughs> just know how good it tastes. And when they get it right, it hits like nothing else. And I just want everybody to be able to experience that. So we just need it on the menu. But also we don't, because guess what? In 2024, I've decided there's just absolutely no, no way. No way. <clears throat> there's just no possible way, like, hands down, Bible in the Bible. name of Kardashians. There is absolutely no way in hell that I will not have my own coffee concoctions for you to try where you literally will just order it as the Tabro or whatever it's called. Or do you know what? If you want to make 512 <clears throat> tweaks to your coffee with no anxiety, you can come to my coffee shop because I will absolutely meet your expectations and you will have no anxiety. And more. Because that's what it's all going to be about. However you want your coffee, shake and stirred with an olive or whatever, you're going to get it exactly how and you want it. And if you try it and you think, fuck, I should have took something out. You're going to get a new you're one. You're going to get a new for one. For free. For free. Yeah. This oh, it's I, not about profit. It's about customer satisfaction. No, it's about me getting a coffee that I love. Yeah. Every single time. It's about the consistency. I want so, that for everybody. So, so what we're looking to do is how we can get this into play. Because what we would love to do is to get this to all of the GG and the GGs yeah. across the whole of the UK and probably even the world. But we'll focus on the UK. How can we get it to the people? So that's what we're going to discuss over the next few months and well first of all i think we will have a base can't say any more than that we'll have a base where we'll sell it in one place yeah but then we're going to try and do the whole delivery saga yeah it's a tricky one because at the end of the day look we can't just go and ha starbucks has got it sus because they're at every services they've got all of that yeah. accessible so you could get a delivery but you just got to make sure like are they delivering it fresh mm all of these top you know imagine you get it and it's all like drizzled down and it's not the same so then you've got to probably have a location but then do you know if you're at work or something you're like oh, i just wish i could nip out and get one and you've got to go to the same town so there's a but lot just know that we're on it it's not like we can become a starbucks no the, pa the passion for coffee the money that i'm spending at starbucks i mean the money i'm saving you at starbucks <laughs> by the way because i'm trying them all and letting you know what's good and what's not but honestly there's just no way that I can have this much passion for coffee and literally creating my own recipes and not have my own coffees for everybody to love and enjoy. It like it's happening. Hand We're going to have an aesthetic cup. It's going to be a flat lid cup and what, it's going to go Reusable? 
reusable. Can people we'll have... have a reusable option, but they'll so probably people be... can have their own. You can. They're not all plastic these days. Like a lot of the plastic looking ones, they're like 100% compostable oh. or recyclable. We're going to bring. I don't back know what Starbucks pl- is, but we'll bring back plastic. <laughs> it was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> Non-recyclable. No, we've got to save the turtles. No, we won't. We won't. We're joking. But, so we do. Yeah. And my idea is, we'll have every. Right, I mean, you can customize whatever you want, but on the menu, we will have like the Tabro, which will be like the original Tabro, and then we will have the best matcha on earth because I will. Know, I know how to make the most incredible matcha. Big like, claim, hands down. big claim. I do, I do. Big I know, claim, huge. I know how I like my food and drink. I'm the biggest foodie going. It's huge. My dream's going to come true. I'm going to be a, like basically a food and drink tester for for a living. Will your face be the logo with the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm going to be um, stay books. <laughs> stay not bad. Tay book. Not bad. No, that's not good. Is it? No, we don't like Starbucks because they don't make... No, we love Starbucks. Oh, no, we love you. We love you, Starbucks. We love you, but we don't love that Tay Brew's not on the menu. No, it's not on the menu. <laughs> um, and then you'll have some simple ones. And we have like a latte, which you can obviously customize. Here's syrup, a question. A flat white. Big shout out to any Starbucks staff or workers. Have you had any people from Starbucks message you like... I've had so many people uh, message I work me. Starbucks. Because we... we the, uh, the issue is here is that if you've had Gigi... They're on the other side. So maybe we should ask them, like, what's the pressure of making it? Let me tell it? you, I because have a girl saved in my notes. we could be criticising, going, <clears throat> oh, Starbucks is shit because they're not making it right. But that could be part of the GG. No, 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 no. It's not, no, one, no one's saying anyone's shit. It's not a recipe. They're making it up. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're not right, a shit. Right. No, I'm not they're saying not their it. shit. I'm saying the drink shit. No, 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 no. It, the drink shit because it is sometimes because it's not how I would say oh, it is, but they don't know how to make it. And every single person's going to pour in the random amount. Yeah, they're, they're not just like, like ah, not, it needs to be Yeah, whereas three with their Starbucks drinks, they have a recipe. But I have a girl saved right. here. Um, let me because see. Maybe, oh, that's class. Maybe they can get us, get us, get you. I have a girl called Abla. I think that's how you say your name. Mm-hmm. And she works for Starbucks. And I'm pretty sure she was the, oh, was she the girl who worked at the Kent one? Is it called Blue Water or Blue Blue something? I'm not sure. But anyway, she reached out to me and she said that she has been making them today. She made it for herself first and she loved it. And she's making for the GG. And I said, please, 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 as a GG member, could you make sure the girls get like really generous amount of foam, really good top in? And can you make sure the ratios are like this whenever you get an order? And I was like, and do you work seven days a week? And she was like, yeah. She works, wow. sorry, not seven days a week. She works full time. And I was like, thank you so much. And I'm sending her a, a little goodie bag of wow. kits to look after the GG in that, Abla from in that area. from Kent in blue water. I don't Services? know whether... I don't know. I don't know. Are we making this up? No, because there was someone from Kent, but I, I so can't. So there's more, multiple. Yeah. So, but so is... many people have messaged to say like, oh, I was in um, Starbucks and the woman said like, is this a TikTok recipe? Like I've already done seven of these today. Or like even, someone messaged me yesterday to say that the guy who um, served them said, oh, like, what is this? I'm really intrigued by this drink. He's like, I'm going to note it down because I want to try this later. And he actually wrote it down. He's like, this is really interesting. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what? We've Come. had people in Scotland. We've had boyfriends ordering it in Wales. It's, yeah, it's, I'm he, telling he, you, he did this well, is a didn't thing. He? Like Gigi Coffee GG is a thing. Coffee. We're, we're in 2024, Coffee we're making it happen. For sorry. the Gigi, the people. But I feel like, what are we in? What's the, What month? September. 19th of September. I feel like probably by end of October... Maybe all of the services have, or Starbucks have served probably, <laughs> this is optimistic, at least one or two or three. Then maybe they're all going to be amazing at it. Then imagine if come by yeah. October, everyone's getting the extra phone, they're getting this, and it's just dialed in. Imagine. It's just everyone's like, oh, you can go anywhere, and it's just dialed in. We can only route. dream. And they're like, ah, oh, t- maybe they might even have posters and like, this is how you make it. You just never know. You just you never just know. just never know. Well, anyway, we're coming up to 40 minutes on this podcast. I'm talking I think absolute that's shite. enough for our welcome back. But don't worry, what we are... Oh, can we just do a little brand update as well? Because some people were like, oh my God, is this, go- is this like a little bit of a, like a preview of what the brand is going to be? And actually, this brand was no- is nothing and was nothing to do with coffee. 
this is actually like the, oh, a second. Sorry. This is like a second. <laughs> it, the biggest reveal ever. This is a second brand that's come in. So the brand that we've been working well, on I for the last. I wouldn't say the Tabru is a brand, but. You know no, I mean? not brand, a business. It's going to yeah. be a business. It might, oh, yeah. it might just oh, yeah. be a, a teeny be. little coffee shop. Don't know. Yeah. But it's going to be a business. We're, yeah. we're making it. No, so. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. But like the first, yeah, I said I word, meant, wrong I, word, brand. I meant like it it's was. not a brand. It's, it's not, we haven't even business. started anything. We just said we're going to bring out coffee. No, but we are. We're making it happen. We I'm will. putting the intention out there to the universe. We, yeah. But the first business that we've been working on for the last two and a half, three years is still in the makings. We're still not revealing anything because Jack's like, no, we're too far off. And the launch date is absolutely March the 1st. So, because yeah. the reason why it's March the 1st, we'll actually have everything ready before then. Probably not too far before then. <laughs> <laughs> Something just fell on the scene. Anyone hear that? that? <laughs> Everyone okay? Everyone okay? Yeah, so basically in terms of the time, March the 1st is what we're aiming for. Ideally, I'm hoping to get everything into place for like January or February. But, but because we're I, still quite far away from it, you don't want to... Yeah, until I know that everything's in place and I've triple-checked everything, just like how I did when I was looking for my bags in boots <laughs> when I lost them um, on our airplane story. But no, I am usually quite thorough in things. So I'd like to be thorough with this so that there's no, like... I just think it would be terrible if, if, for example, there was a delay and you told everybody this side of Christmas and it didn't come out till like June and everyone's like, oh, the hype's gone. You, you've told us about that. Yes, <laughs> go. Are you We're gonna, bored. What's you, next? <laughs> are you going to bring it out? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just want it to be exciting for us and then exciting for the Gigi at the same time. Yeah. We're like, oh, this is, it's here. Okay, everybody, here it is. Sort of thing. Yeah. But what we can say is it's looking very good and we're extremely, extremely excited and the thought of bringing it out is like it gives me like an electric feeling inside where yeah. i'm like i actually just can't even cope that we're at this point and there's been so much back and forth it sounds quite cliche but there has been so much back and forth because it has. just and, does. and when just we get does. to the point where we've launched the brand we're definitely gonna dive into all of that and explain some stories that have been very bizarre yeah. over the past two and a half years where we've been like learning and and whatnot but yeah. i do have the um instagram in my bio but at the minute it's just called your favorite new your new favorite brand just because i couldn't think what else to call it but that will um change the brand name and that will be our instagram and already so many people when there's not even any posts on there are followed and we're really grateful for that because yeah that's where all the updates are going to be obviously you see them on my story as well yeah we want to we want to you know get it really exciting and hopefully well, I can't say too much, but we've got loads of different ideas. That are going to be very for, heavily involved with the GG. With the G, yeah, that's what we're going and to say. And being able to we, like, we which is why I said like, meet, we can meet up and things because this is going to be community tied in with that. It's, yeah, very. GG. So, shall but we anyway, finish on that? Let's finish let's on that. Let's finish though. on that. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening to our first podcast back. We will be back. And uh, we will be back. We're going to go for, <laughs> we, we always say this, we're going to no, go for two a week. No, why do you always do that? So, you're just such a absolutely, liar. Absolutely. Yeah, we will be consistent, just like the vlogs. But anyway, yeah, thank you very much for listening. If you made really it to the end of this it. vlog, well done. Bravo. Yeah. Um, by the way, if you do feel like it, you can leave a comment if it's on YouTube or like, subscribe, or a review. They're really, really appreciated. And I read every <laughs> single one. Appreciate it. Um, Are you intoxicated? <laughs> my vocabulary is terrible. Bye. Love, Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.